applications of integrated pest and disease management in the tropics, co-organized by the Ministry of Agriculture, Republic of Indonesia, and the Non-Aligned Movement Center for Sasos Technical Cooperation in partnership with Bangladesh Agricultural University. Today, we will listen to presentations from Dr. Mokte Hossein, a lecturer from the Bangladesh Agricultural University, and it will be continued by presentation from Dr. Rujuniawan, lecturer from the Indonesian Center of Agricultural Training of Ketindan, Minister of Agriculture, Republic of Indonesia. So before we continue to the core activity of this session, uh, maybe uh, uh, the acting director of the NAM Center, Ambassador Diarnur Bintoro, do you want to address something to the participants? We also have uh, an observer from University Putra Malaysia, uh, Dr. Elisa. Ambassador Diar. Thank you, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Dr. Uh, Hassan. Uh, thank you for the joining the uh, seminar to all participants and uh, we hope that uh, this uh, uh, seminar discourse will be make a benefit to you all. So enjoy and uh, hope this program uh, 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 will uh, let you get a positive. Uh, positive. Thank you. Mute. Yeah. Mute. Thank you very much, Ambassador Diar. Uh, yeah, I think we are still waiting for participants, but maybe uh, they, they can they can catch up catch up a few minutes later. Uh, so uh, so we are heading to the core activities. Uh, Dr. Mokte Hussein, uh, you, maybe you can start sharing your uh, presentation while I am reading out your profile. So. Okay. So, okay, sh sh shall I start now? Yeah, yes, you can start sharing the screen while I'm reading your your profile. So Okay, uh, let me share, let me share my uh, presentation. Okay. Yes, so Dr. Mokhtar Hussein has 20 years of experience lecturing academics on high quality soil planting, stress physiology of vegetable crops, post harvest storage technology in fruit and vegetable crops and collection, preservation and evaluation of minor fruit and vegetables. He holds a Master's of Agriculture in Horticulture and a PhD in Agriculture. He also took a postdoctorate from Chinese University of Hong Kong. He now teaches at the Faculty of Agriculture, Bangladesh Agricultural University. He is also affiliated with several leading organizations including International Society of Minor Fruit, Medicinal Plants and Aromatic Plants or the Japanese and the Japanese Society for Horticulture Science. He has published more than 65 scientific journals on banana production, plant growth and other fruit science and technology topics. So for this agenda, he will present a topic on post harvest crop protection management issues. Without further ado, I will give the floor to Dr. Mokte Hossein. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Mrs. Nikain. Uh, very good morning, all of you. This is uh, Dr. Mokte Hossein from Bangladesh. Can you hear me, Nikain, and other participants? Yes, please, clear. Thank you. Very good morning, and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, today, this on, online training course on principle and application of IPDM in the tropics, organized by NAM Align Movement, Center for South-South Technical Cooperation, Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm one of the speakers for this session. Uh, my topic is post-harvest crop protection management issues. Uh, I would go step by step for this topic. I hope all participants uh, could uh, hear me clearly and could see the, uh, my slides from my presentation. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, uh, let you know the learning outcomes uh, from this topic. Uh, end of my discussion and presentation, I hope I believe 
and that the participant could be able to explain the causes of post harvest losses of agricultural commodities and also uh, they would be able to determine the pre and post harvest insect pest and disease causing organisms and also they will be able to apply the protection measures uh, to control uh, post harvest insects and diseases and finally, I hope that uh, the participant could be able to use eco-friendly management technology to control the insect pest diseases. And then, uh, uh, in fact, uh, why do we need post harvest crop rotation? This is the uh, burning issue in the agriculture, in the world agriculture, because a global uh, population is expected to run up over 9 billion by 2050. Therefore, uh, we need to feed them, and we need for just for the feeding, uh, we may need more than 70 percent extra food production. Uh, therefore, we need to keep the food safe and uh, this is free. Uh, therefore, about one third of food produced is lost globally uh, from the post harvest operation every year. So, we if we if you keep them from the post harvest loss, then we can feed a evergreen, ever growing uh, extra population in the world. What is the scenario we can see from the from the data that uh, post harvest losses in agricultural commodities is mostly uh, uh, occurred in perishable uh, fruits and vegetables that is occupied about 40, over forty percent. That is forty four percent. Next, next is uh, root crops, tuber crops that is also lost about twenty percent, and cereal crops also nineteen percent losses due to uh, different uh, insects and diseases and other causes. So we should uh, control them from these losses. Uh, if you see there are some data, this is recorded, this is collected from fall twenty nineteen. We can see that the worst loss, food loss is uh, found in, in the bottom to Australia and New Zealand, but uh, for Central and South Asia, we lost more from the all other countries. From this point, we need to be careful about the uh, food losses, and we have to think about the reduction of losses anyhow. Causes of established losses of agricultural commodities mostly caused by insect infestation and other factors, as well as improved by post harvest handling and storage systems. Uh, all those things are very critical. Uh, some uh, pathogen or organisms are usually infected uh, before the harvesting of crops, and they remain in the crops uh, until they got the suitable environment for their development for their infection. And some other organisms may infect the crops uh, during and after harvesting. Uh, that is because of the uh, faulty harvesting system as well as the faulty handling system and that causes the uh, infections by insects and diseases. Uh, we have uh, two kinds of crops here. Uh, we can say cereal crops and horticultural crops. If we see that cereal crops, they have the, some steps from harvesting to transportation, and each and every step uh, has some crop losses. And the causes of losses is mentioned, I, I mentioned here that during harvesting, uh, mainly crop losses due to shattering insects and rodent bird attacks. Uh, during threshing, crop losses may occur due to improved by sanitation and separation system and cleaning system. And during drying also is a critical because here are some uh, virus, rodents, fungus, and bacterial contamination may use here. And also storage systems, uh, there is a critical place where uh, some infestation due to insects and microorganisms can be happening here. So these my millings and also transportation, they also uh, they, they have some spaces to uh, contaminate the uh, produces by insects and diseases and other organisms. In case of uh, perishable horticultural crop, the scenario is like this. I mean, they have these some um, sort of steps after harvesting, like harvesting uh, 
and then sorting grid, at least in storage and transportation, each and every steps, each and every steps have the uh, uh, space for contamination uh, by insects and diseases. You can see here that during harvesting, uh, improper harvesting, uh, harvesting techniques uh, and improper uh, instrumental use also causing uh, some splitting and cracking and pushing of produces. That is the root of uh, infection, fungal infection after harvesting. So sorting grading is required and during sorting grading also some contamination by fungal and material contamination uh, there. Packaging also, there are also some chance to uh, contaminate by pathogen and also storage, quality storage system is responsible for damaging the most of the uh, perishable products. Transpiration is also uh, another segment where uh, crop losses may happen due to this contamination. Uh, so uh, it's a big, it's a huge item. So I make some uh, discussions based on the, some major crops, uh, basically cereal crops, fruit crops, vegetables, fever and root crops. From cereal crops, few crops I have selected rice with maize, uh, fruit crops, mango, banana, jackfruit, pineapple, guava, from vegetables, tomato, cheaper and root crops, sweet potato and potato selected for this discussion. I hope um, I could finish uh, those things uh, by this, uh, by my stipulated time. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, tell you the, why you need to go for stories of these producers because uh, all of the, most of the things are uh, perishable, so we need to be careful to store them and also around the uh, food supply is necessary for the people, so therefore we need to store them. And on the other hand, processing system is running around the year, therefore we need to uh, store the produces. And also uh, preservation of quality and control the market price. Finally, if a future export opportunity, uh, for a future prospect, future export opportunity, we need to store the produces. So during storage, uh, we need to be careful uh, for not to spoil as of uh, producers from insects and diseases. It's a few data as one approximate estimated real losses in, in cereal crops. Uh, since I will I talk you talk to you the rice, wheat, and maize. So uh, rice and maize is uh, loss is about twenty five percent, and wheat is slightly lower. So these sort of things are discussed. Steps to be taken to control the post harvest pests and diseases is, uh, I think, that three main steps need to be uh, taken uh, uh, to control the post harvest pests and diseases. First, defense mechanism will come from the field uh, practices that is, good agricultural practice. If we can uh, apply gaps, good agricultural practices that will inhibit some. Um, then there is pest and diseases. Second step would be uh, careful harvesting and handling. And the third step would be uh, sorting, uh, sorting out the damaged and infected produces from the lot that can help to minimize the post harvest losses of vegetables and other crops. Um, then stored grain uh, pest for cereal crops. Uh, most of the uh, Crops, uh, most of the crops are most serious, severely affected by mainly uh, storage space, not little and uh, levels. Uh, so to control the varieties of foreign extract powders and essential oil have been reported earlier. Uh, that is, that can be used for insecticide or insect repellent against a wide variety of stored grain insect pests. Uh, then I, I'll show you some main uh, crops uh, pastes here and with some control measures. Say uh, for rice, uh, lesser grain borer and weevil is severely infected during storage. Um, and that can be controlled, that can be protected uh, by some way. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to store them a little bit cooler place. So if we can store them in a cooler place, uh, so infection by insects and these insects can be lower and minimum. Um, store room need to be clean all the time. Uh, some button uh, say mainly for delit can be used in the store room to uh, avoid this uh, insect pest. And finally, can be applied some insecticide around the store room. 
And then it is a week. Uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Hussein, maybe yeah. speak louder so that the noise, uh, so that the background noise could be covered up. Maybe you can speak okay. louder a little bit. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so for, for, for wheat, uh, we can see that uh, two major pest insect pests, lesser grain borer and grain moth uh, is more dangerous for the wheat and the losses use. So that can be controlled by uh, properly dry the grain before storage. Usually, uh, all grains must dry before storage. Otherwise, not only insects, many diseases can uh, infect them. And uh, the storeroom needs to be clean on all tracks, and uh, uh, pieces need to be filled before storage that produces. And another option is heating the storeroom before you use the before store the product inside the storeroom. And during heating, all previous insects organisms will uh, will be eliminated, will be die. And finally, some neem leaf or bills can be used in the storeroom. And at the end, uh, some insecticide can be applied on the storeroom. Then another crops is maize, is uh, important crops, and which is also infected by uh, maize grain mold as well as weevil. And these two uh, tests can be controlled. Some application of some botanicals, uh, named to dry machine and garlic tablets. These sort of things can be used to eliminate uh, sort of uh, insects from the maze. Then I, 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 I will show you some organisms can be infected uh, by crops in the store. Some of them are. Uh, these genera, especially as penicillium, rhizobium, fusurium, xanthosoma, this sort of organism uh, is infected by crops in the storeroom. So uh, these fun fungi are frequently uh, frequent where the moisture is uh, is about about 10%. Therefore, all grain, rice with maize grain, need to be dry uh, less than 10% uh, moisture keeping in the crop. Uh, in case of uh, spurgillus niger can uh, attack the grain in the store when moisture content more higher, say 12%. So we need to be careful if we want to keep away the, this organism. So we must uh, dry the crops less than 12% moisture content. Uh, so it, it is reported that some bacillus in bacteria as well as botulinum pesticide can be useful for controlling this sort of uh, disease organisms. So IPM can be used for controlling the stored grain paste is first of all prevention, avoidance and suppression. This step by step, this process, if you follow the this process, that can control the uh, insects in the stored insect paste. And then um, some biopesticides can be useful for uh, controlling the insect paste. Uh, uh, natural products like as a direct tree and extract of neem tree uh, it's one of the way and other ways uh, insect ferment can be used for controlling the insects uh, fermentation products such as spinosoid and uh, bactine uh, this is before, this is uh, from research findings I got this point that can be useful for controlling the insect pest in the store inside these natural and derived products like um, tapenoids as well as some extract from them like garlic and alamon that can be used for controlling the insects in the store. Uh, so now I'd like to uh, go for some fruits and vegetables. Uh, most of this disease of some uh, fruits and vegetables and their uh, effective control measures. Uh, this is the uh, more dangerous and uh, uh, anthracnose species is in the stories. I mean, after harvesting, this disease can be more severe. Uh, it is mentioned that anthracnose can be attacking the crops in the field. Uh, and so that should be minimized, that should be controlled uh, to keep the food safe from losses. So, uh, it is. It is. It can be minimized by um, during harvesting. We need to be careful that uh, if no grazing 
uh, or no no damage is uh, getting the crops during harvesting. So another step would be sanitation sanitization during handling. Uh, Keep, keep them in a little bit lower temperature that can save the fruit from the infections. And uh, normally, uh, currently practice uh, hot water keeping. Um, that time is five minutes, and it depends on the temperature. If temperature is less less than 55, then time could be 10 minutes or 15 minutes. But uh, our report said that 55 degrees, then uh, five minutes dipping is enough to control this organism. Um, besides this copper uh, on the site can be used and uh, treated the fruits with uh, a lime solution. Uh, 1.5 to 2% can be helpful to eliminate uh, the anthracnose disease of mango. Then another uh, severe and dangerous disease is stem and door. This is, uh, this is uh, very severe in this store. Uh, during harvesting, uh, the food looks like no disease, but if you keep a few days in the storage, you will see that uh, from the end point of the uh, the food will gradually <coughs> uh, rotten. Initially, it's a black spot, then gradually expanded uh, the fruit, and it will uh, dead immediately uh, within a couple of days. And then this fruit will be. Uh, and eat for consumption as well as for marketing. So uh, these diseases need to be uh, controlled by some way. Um, here is some control measure. Jay fruit should be harvested with stock. I mean, pretty cell. Uh, I show. I will show you some data on uh, research findings. Um, proper harvesting, uh, handling of fruits could minimize the stem and drought incidence, and also post harvest dipping with the carbon dioxide and hot water, spraying it for this concept. This sort of treatment can control the, uh, this pathogen. Now, the one point is important that uh, during harvesting, if we keep the pedicel with fruit, that will help to uh, eliminate the blossom and rot. There is uh, some research data, research findings uh, I, I can explain here. Uh, mango fruit has a latex and if we, keep the latex away from fruit uh, during harvesting, that will uh, help to delay the infection of anthracnose as well as stemming. Uh, you can see that mm, here is a two treatment. One is uh, fruit from which latex was not drained. Those are not drained, that means including uh, pedicel. That is, lesion, lesion diameter is lower, I mean, they're slower than the fruit from which latex was drained like this. I mean, this latex is responsible for causing the blossom and drop. Uh, therefore, uh, during harvesting, we may need to keep some medicine with the fruit that will help to eliminate this latex. Another uh, figure here, you can see the stem and rot, uh, expansion of stem and rot. If we keep the pedicel uh, with the fruit during harvesting, then uh, that will delay the uh, stem and rot uh, disease with the fruit. And uh, fruit from which latex was strained, those are uh, here, it is both faster and quicker, and expansion is quite larger. That means stem and rot expansion is quite larger. Therefore, uh, if we keep the fruit it, to minimize the disease attack after harvesting of fruits, we can we can keep few part of the cell with the uh, fruit uh, that 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 will help to divert the latex flow away from the fruit. So it will help to keep the safe fruit for some days, minimize the damage, avoid contamination of fruits with soil pathogen fertilizer and other elements, and that can be uh, possible to wash out the fruits after harvesting. Then uh, post harvest dipping also helpful for uh, eliminating the blossom and uh, diseases of mango. Uh, this is the dangerous phase for mango. This is not only, it is not a post harvest phase, but in fact, this is infected fruits in the earlier 
Uh, so this food fly needs to be controlled, otherwise uh, in post harvest you know, we uh, can have a, a sort of fruit uh, that will damage whole fruit. So this Bactrocera dorsalis can be controlled um, by uh, pheromone trap and normally uh, we are practicing this sort of uh, technology for controlling the fruit fly uh, of mango. Uh, this is not only control the fruit fly. If we can control the fruit fly, that will also help to reduce the post harvest anthracnose as well as uh, other diseases. So uh, fruit fly need to be controlled from the field, and this can be done by two ways. One is pheromone trap use, another is fruit dragging. These two steps, eco-friendly step, can help to eliminate uh, this fruit fly infection. And this is the scenario where uh, we are. We have been using this sort of techniques in our garden here at EAU Bangladesh Agricultural University. Another uh, treatment could be water treatment and vapor heat treatment. These two treatments can be useful uh, to control them. Then IPM for controlling fruit fly. There is some prescription that uh, collection and disposal of infected and dropped fruits, and uh, next applying the orchard to expose the heat and sunlight. Uh, another step is releasing the parasite or predator to kill the, uh, the, yeah, the organisms. Destruction of the adult using uh, pheromone trap, and then water -to treatment or vapor treatment, and eco friendly food packing. These sort of things, if we can apply combinedly and step by step, then uh, that will control the food price successfully. Then, another, uh, another uh, dangerous uh, pest is uh, stone weevil. Uh, that is also infected during the crop growing and fruit development. Uh, it is not exactly the post harvest pest, but it is infected the fruits early before harvesting. If, if we can control them in the field, that will save the fruit. Therefore, I am showing here, and uh, this stone weevil can control by various way field sanitation put down the way. Another way is bagging technology, application of pheromone traps. All those things can help to eliminate uh, stone rebuild of mango and they will, they will save the mango from this pest attack. Here we uh, have been using the pheromone trap. There are varieties of pheromone traps and our university also developed a pheromone trap. We say that bow fruit fly trap, that is, is different types and it is useful because uh, we don't need any uh, liquid inside the uh, bottle container. Uh, just uh, insect will go inside and they will they, they will not be able to uh, come out and they automatically they will dry and this sort of uh, fly trap can be used around the year. Um, fruit dragging is another technology. What is uh, we are doing here? Uh, we are applying different kinds of dragging materials in our mango production and uh, we got some good results from the um, brown paper bagging fruits and I could show you some results here, non bad fruits like this. I mean, infected with some anthracnose or other organisms and bagging fruits looks like uh, clean, almost clean and smooth and post harvest life also longer than the control fruits. So if we can use the food bagging as well. Uh, food dragging technology, uh, somehow it will help to eliminate uh, not only insect, uh, including uh, some pathogen that I can save by using food dragging. Then another important crop is papaya, and it is also uh, affected by various organisms in the uh, stories. Uh, among these, uh, uh, anthracnose, rhizopus rod, stem and rod, this sort of pathogen is severely infected after harvesting of uh, papaya. And so we need to be careful when we harvesting the fruits so that no injury, if no injury, then infection will go lower. And after harvesting, we may need to uh, yeah, dipping the fruits with hot water that will help to eliminate uh, these organisms, these fungus. And, uh, dipping of fruits with uh, to this dichloro, uh, dichlorofluoronitrile can help to eliminate uh, this pathogen. 
and sometimes some reference uh, I can I show you here that some references available that Bacillus subtilis can help to eliminate uh, anthracnose and rhizocosterol. Um, so in this way, we can save uh, papaya from these post harvest diseases. Another uh, practice we used to uh, uh, do here that fruit packing and fruit washing, and as well as uh, dipping with uh, fungicide, uh, that will help to eliminate the uh, post harvest diseases. I mean, fungal diseases. Then another uh, important fruit in, in, in our area, I'm not sure it is not common for our area, but uh, it's a severe in our area that uh, Rhizopus subfruit of jackfruit, which is our national fruit. This is also infected by these organisms after harvesting. Also, these organisms can um, cause uh, the fruit loss in the flowering stage. I mean, uh, fruit inflorescence also infected by uh, this rhizopus soft rot and mature fruit also infected by similar organisms. So that need to be controlled uh, after harvesting of fruits. So avoid only during harvesting is important because if it is only during harvesting, so this pathogen uh, is entered into the fruit and that is uh, causing the rotting after the harvesting. Sorting out the infected fruits is another step. We can sort it, sort it out the infected fruits and we can keep only the good one. Then washing and cleaning and drying also helpful and spray with the copper on the side. And we have a reference here, then we can use this reference to see more in details about the causing organism or disease and their control measure. Then <clears throat> most important and commercial crop is banana. Banana is uh, infected by various kinds of organisms in living stories. And here is a crown rot, more, more, more critical uh, stages here. And this crown rot uh, is a complex post harvest disease uh, because at the initial stage, uh, it is usually invisible. Uh, and, but the fruit is rotten after a couple of days. So, uh, this is symptom usually occur after shipment to our stories. At the harvesting time, it is it is not possible to see. Therefore, we need to be careful during harvesting as well as uh, during cultivation of these crops. Here is some picture: healthy crown, and then mycelium growth uh, in the crown. Mostly, uh, external side is rotten uh, during storage, and finally, whole fruit become uh, un unmarketable or uh, unsafe for consumption. So, Uh, Dr. Mokhtar Hossein, uh, I think we lost uh, connection. Maybe you can start sharing your screen again. Yes, and continue the presentation. Um, you can unmute, please. Yeah, thank yes. you. Thank you. Okay, okay so this, this crown rod can be controlled by applying pre and post harvest control measures. Uh, pre harvest control measures could be removal of leaf trash. In fact, this disease uh, is, is severe when the fruit is covered by leaf and no light ventilation. So, light ventilation is important then field sanitation is important and vans covering is another important step uh, if we can cover the vans and if we can ventilate the uh, food vans uh, uh, so that you, this will help to eliminate these diseases and after harvesting uh, so we do not need to keep the rotten fruits near the packing area we 
should keep away. I mean, maintain the clean washing water. Uh, the latex thing, I mean, the latex uh, is releasing uh, during uh, separated, during the handing, the latex should be uh, cleaned by washing uh, the banana of the harvest. So the handing should be uh, carefully uh, with the sharp knife. I mean, the sanitized knife need to be used to separate the fruits from the buns. Uh, somehow we need to be careful to separate the food, uh, then it may help to eliminate this disease. Here we have, uh, we, are, we are applying some bagging technology in our orchard at BAU. Um, we got some good results from this um, uh, study. And we have been using white, blue, black, and old food. And we got uh, some results from the uh, uh, plus polythene bag. And uh, here is the, some data that uh, if we keep the fruit uncovered, then, then this is infestation, this is incidence, and uh, everything is quite higher in open fruit, then uh, bad fruit is uh, lower. Uh, the disability also similar tendency showing. Then another, so here, um, Ground rot can be controlled, and other other organism can control by fruit bagging or bunch discovery. Uh, second important uh, post harvest disease of banana is anthracnose, and uh, usually after harvesting uh, in the storage room, uh, we can see this sort of um, disease infestation, and that is uh, that causing a huge losses and food become unsuitable un for uh, consumption and even for marketing. So how to control these? Uh, we have to be careful during harvesting. So minimizing the operation of harvesting, operation of fruits during harvesting and even handling and transportation because if we, if it is squish, then it can contaminate it with the organism. So proper, proper sanitation during harvesting and if possible, uh, prompt cooling system can help uh, to eliminate this disease. At the end, we can use some uh, fungicide, so investing one percent can help to reduce or help to eliminate this anthracnose disease. Um, another another uh, disease is cigar and rot. This is this is uh, another critical disease and multi. Uh, multi, multi fungus, uh, different fungus can cause this disease, and this disease also uh, causes huge loss in the storage. So uh, that can be controlled by the proper clean sanitation, uh, uh, removal of uh, dead or extra leaves from the plant, and need to be clean and uh, reduce the canopy humidity. Uh, that means that we need to uh, clipping the extra leaves from the plants that will help to enter the light and reduce the humidity that will help the plant crops to attack from this disease. A removal of all uh, flower plants parts from the from the fruit during fruit setting and burning the infected plant parts and other parts from, from the field and bounce covering finally using the plastic bag to protect from rain. That will help the fruit from uh, cigarette drop. Then Washing can be, uh, after harvesting, washing can be useful to keep the fruit safe from uh, all diseases. So after harvesting, uh, all, fruits, all fruits can be washed and keep it in the cooler place and that will, uh, that will help to eliminate the anthracnose and cigar and rot as well as crown bird. So another uh, dangerous paste is the uh, banana fruit beetle. This is not only food, it is also called leaf and fruit beetle. This is not the post harvest test. Basically, it is infected the fruit in the early stage when uh, fruit uh, setting started. And, and this is a critical, and after harvesting, this fruit uh, is not suitable for marketing, but uh, it can be controlled by various ways. And there is a cultural control as well as chemical control can be useful. In case of cultural control, clean cultivation is necessary because these insects uh, live in the uh, debris uh, in the field. And so other crops, uh, debris and uh, weeds and other crops, debris need to be cleaned from the 
that is screen cultivation is important for controlling the adult uh, metal uh, in the from the field and next step is when uh, flowering and fruit setting is completed then all uh, bunch of food need to be covered with uh, any kind of bagging material especially polythene bag is useful for this case uh, i have shown here is on on, on figure uh, that uh, if you use the uh, polythene bag then the fruit is completely uh, clean and smooth no uh, damage is found here by this uh, fruit beetle so uh, this is useful for controlling beetle otherwise chemical control can be possible with using beta as an 60 ac uh, 3 ml per liter of water can spray before flowering and initiation and before flowering initiation and after fruit setting uh, uh, this uh, insecticide can control the metal uh, from the fruit surface. So then um, we can go for another crops uh, is uh, pineapple. Uh, this is uh, another com commercial crops in our area. And um, this is also infected by various diseases and pests during the harvesting and as well as in the storage room. One of the one of the diseases is black rot, and this black rot disease is, is known as Temen rot, water blister, soft rot. Uh, different name. Some people say soft rot, and some say the water blister, and so I say the black rot disease, and that can be um, controlled by appropriate poster. The sanitation is important. Um, chlorine water wash is uh, important. Uh, can use this one. Effective fungicide could be useful. It should be dipped in fungicide with five to six hours after harvesting. And storage at comparatively cooler place can reduce, can eliminate this disease. I mean, uh, we can apply any one uh, uh, control measure that will help the fruit from uh, attack of uh, black rot. Then another rot, another is fruitlet core rot. This is also uh, causing severe damage during the stories. I mean, after harvesting, and uh, fruit is is unsafe for uh, consumption as well as for marketing. It is not possible to market. So th that can be controlled uh, by pre-harvest um, uh, mite control because mite is a carrier and mite mite can stay leave in the underside the leaves so you cannot see them uh, therefore it is important to control the mite first in the field so that can be controlled by spraying uh, at the field uh, some bartimac is commonly our area we use the bartimac for controlling the mite so if you can control the mite that may help to uh, reduce the uh, wood lead brown rod or Fruitlet core rot disease in the stories. Um, another pineapple uh, also infected by uh, some insects here, many bugs is severely affected by pineapple after harvesting. And this insect infect the causes from the field. So uh, this is the worst post harvest insect problem. Uh, so that can be controlled by pre harvest application of uh, some insecticide. I mean, um, we have to control this insect in the field and discard the bluish and splitted fruits during harvesting. Only sorting, grading, and uh, selection of uh, well and good fruit in for the stores is helped to eliminate uh, these insects from the pineapple. Uh, this is the scenario our Bangladeshi pineapple production and marketing in the roadside. Uh, uh, as I said, that this is a commercial uh, food in Bangladesh. Then we can go for another important commercial crops, uh, guava. And this guava also uh, infected by a serious infected by a uh, insect, uh, guava fruit fly. Uh, this is uh, more amazing and exposing insects and these insects need to be controlled at the early stage i mean during food development food growth stage and that can be controlled by various ways 
and cultural control as well as uh, sanitary method can be used to control them. Uh, culturally, uh, if you can collect and destroy the affected fruits and irrigate the orchard and kill the pupa, that can be one of the way. Uh, another way is use of phenomenon trough uh, as well as uh, fruit dragging. Uh, and finally, we can use some bait trap uh, with the application of uh, some insecticides in Malatian uh, that will kill the adult. So uh, this is the way uh, pheromone trap is commonly practiced in our area and also other area, India and Nepal and Indonesia may, maybe. Then this uh, pheromone trap use as well as food dragging and controlling chemical control is applicable for controlling this uh, fruit fly. So some diseases uh, I'm showing here, some diseases of guava, it is, it is causing severe loss after harvesting uh, guava rot or fruit rot. And these two diseases, there are many diseases, but these two diseases are more severe after harvesting. And the causing is an attack the crops uh, before harvesting, and that is causing rot, rotting in the stories. So about the contamination during harvest, this is the point. And um, careful harvesting to avoid the injury, uh, because if any injury happen in the fruit, that will uh, uh, that will uh, contaminate the uh, fruit by by different organism. Fruit bagging is helpful for this case, and after harvesting, uh, this disease can be uh, controlled by washing and cleaning uh, of fruits. So. Um, here in Bangladesh, we have been using uh, food bagging technology for uh, safe guava production. That is, that is, uh, we can use some uh, bagging materials, different kinds of bagging materials uh, that will help not only the uh, disease, it is helping to protect the fruit fly uh, and other diseases. Here in the summary reference, we have completed some work to control the fruit fly and we got uh, good results here. Yeah. The, the fruit bagging uh, gave the smooth, smart, and clean fruit uh, we can find after harvesting. And those are known that this is uh, infected by some pathogens, uh, anthracnose, and other organisms. And also, food shape size also become um, uh, not good to like as uh, uh, bad fruit. So market price also higher, storage life also higher, and demand also higher. So food bagging technology can use can be used for uh, controlling some disease and insects, and to get a healthy and smart food uh, from guava plant. Then uh, we have some. I, I said that uh, some vegetables. Uh, I'll discuss you. Uh, Tomato is uh, commercial vegetables in, in not only in Bangladesh, around the world. So this tomato is also affected by uh, post harvest diseases, uh, so like Rhizopus rot of tomato is severely uh, affected, infected uh, uh, fruits after harvesting and even in the stories. Uh, if you keep the fruit in a, in a lot, then that is causing severely. And this sort of uh, problem can be controlled by careful harvesting to avoid any kind of injury. Uh, we have to clean the packing area and even uh, ripening room or store room that need to be uh, keep free from rodent and other insects and birds because they are uh, they are working as a carrier. So we need to keep them alive somehow. And meat and clean store room can be used. And uh, food washing and cleaning is important. After harvesting, if we can wash out uh, them properly, and then we can have a chance to eliminate uh, this rhizopus software. And that may help to keep the food safe for a couple of days. And another disease is bacterial software, the tomato. This is also dangerous and this is causing severe losses of tomato in the stories. And uh, here is a careful harvesting also important uh, uh, because uh, we need to harvest this one is during dry weather, uh, wet weather or 
in humid condition, we cannot uh, harvest the fruits. Uh, it will severely affect uh, disease. Uh, Sanitize the ripening room. Similarly, like as before, we said that ripening room, store room, as well as other equipments, harvesting equipments need to be uh, sanitized uh, using the uh, sodium hypochloride uh, that will help to eliminate this disease. So harvesting instrument and even manual harvesting, uh, in case of manual harvesting, our hands also need to be uh, sanitized with the uh, sodium hypochloride. So that will help to uh, eliminate this disease. In brief, we can say that uh, sorting, grading, washing, packing, gradually if you can do these sort of things, uh, uh, produces, uh, can, can, can be safe in the store. Uh, for a couple of days and even a week. Uh, so we have to follow this sorting, grading, and washing and packaging technology uh, to keep them safe from disease and safety attack. Uh, post harvest protection of tuber and root crops, I said that fruits, vegetables, and some, uh, some sort of uh, tuber crops, those are commercially cultivated in these areas is important. I will talk about these two varieties groups. First of all, uh, I'll show you uh, what common and commercial uh, tuber crops is uh, potato. And this potato is infected uh, various insects and diseases during the storage. Uh, one of the most severe and or most dangerous uh, insect is potato tuber moth. And this potato tuber moth uh, uh, infected the tuber severity and the potato is uh, uh, suitable for consumption and even marketing. So uh, if you want to control this uh, potato tuber moth, uh, we have to collect the healthy tuber for stories. Uh, uh, besides this, if we can use some work metal, uh, say some dry leaves of lantern and lean, uh, neem means as a direct indica. Uh, these leaves can eliminate these uh, insects. Uh, so uh, this is a prescription. We can use some dry water nickels uh, that can help to eliminate these uh, insect. Another, uh, another and more dangerous uh, disease is uh, soft rot, bacterial soft rot of uh, potato, and uh, this is when this, uh, this, this pathogen is attacking the storage, then total potato will damage immediately. So it is very, it is very uh, careful, it is very important to uh, take a measure to keep, the, to keep safe the potato uh, in the field as well as in the store. Basically, this bacteria is infected the crop in the field. If we can control this bacteria in the field, that may help to keep the Say, keep safe the food uh, tuber in the storage room. So normally in some some areas, people are using the bleaching powder during planting the tuber I and mean, during uh, cultivation uh, that help to eliminate this uh, bacterial infection in the plant. Uh, in another case, if the plant is infected and if we can identify them in the field, we never collect the tuber from the infected field. Uh, so we have to select the healthy and uh, bacterial wilt free field for uh, storage. Uh, so uh, it's an important point. And that is, uh, after harvesting of tuber, we need to cure them because if we can cure them, so healing will complete it in the field, then that will help the tuber. Uh, for infection of any other diseases. And do not wash the tuber after harvesting, it's another point. And sanitize, uh, sanitization is important. Sanitize the storage room using sodium hypochlorite. I mean, where we are going to store them, we need to be uh, sanitized them using these chemicals. So that will help to eliminate the bacterial soft rot diseases. Uh, another storage disease is uh, dry rot of potato. Uh, this is caused by fusidium 
and uh, solanine of this world. Uh, so uh, this is uh, severely affected by this protozoan and uh, two world became unsafe for uh, consumption and it is uh, not possible to market it. So that should be controlled. Uh, uh, appropriate culture practices can help to eliminate this group. And in a storage condition, we always, uh, we always uh, use the um, queuing in the field because healing is important. Otherwise, uh, this will be affected by this proposal. So avoid harvesting in wet condition is important. Uh, separate the infected tubers. That means sorting out the bad one uh, before storage and destroy them is another point. And curing, I said that curing also is important because curing can heal in the injured area or bush area or spirit area. And clean sanitized storeroom is important. Uh, storeroom need to be clean and sanitized before storing these potatoes. Um, this can help to eliminate the PGM diet or the potato. Um, is there another important uh, root drops? Tuberous root crops, say the sweet potato. Uh, in fact, uh, sweet potato uh, is, in, is infected severely in stories. Uh, we cannot uh, store them long time, especially in conventional stories. In ambient condition, it is quite hard to uh, store these uh, tuberous uh, root vegetables. I mean, uh, if we can use the cold room, that is okay, but for ambient condition, for normal condition, uh, to work, super to T work and it stay uh, more than one month. Uh, here is a sweet potato weevil is more devastating, more dangerous. Uh, it is it is infected uh, the crop in the field and uh, then after harvesting, this is severely affected the uh, producers. So and you can see the the figure from the figure that if it is infected that produces then whole tuber will damage within a couple of days and this potato this sweet potato is not uh, suitable for consumption it has a bad smell nobody can uh, consume, consume, consume that uh, so this we will need to be controlled uh, from the field so field sanitation is important. Uh, we can use the crop rotation because uh, it, is, it is reported that it is proved that uh, if we use the crop rotation, yeah, so uh, that will help to uh, minimize or eliminate these insects. Uh, and timely planting and harvesting also important. Early harvesting helping to eliminate them. If harvesting is delayed somehow, then uh, that will severely affected by this sweet potato weevil. In some area in the world, especially in African country, the people are using the ferromantra for controlling the weevil. Uh, we cannot use yet, uh, but I, I, I got a uh, report from uh, general findings from the African country. They have been using this experiment trap for controlling this weevil and they got the good results. So we can use, we can try to use this ferromantra trap for controlling the adult in the field that will help uh, the stories. So post harvest activities, it's another point is important that after uh, harvesting, since it is a uh, root crops harvesting time, some injury uh, obviously uh, happened uh, with the producers. So we need to cure the uh, producers in the field uh, that will healing the injuries area. And we have to sort out the healthy and infected tubers, uh, roots. Uh, if we can sort out properly, that will help to uh, keep away from the weevil attack. And then uh, I said that normal cool stories, I mean, normal, a little bit cooler place is suitable for uh, any bit uh, uh, weevil attack. So if we do this, then we will we'll save the tubers, uh, include tubers from uh, we will infection. Then um, there is some data. This is uh, we, we are working on it. 
that uh, in conventional condition, I mean, in the ambient storage condition, we kept them, kept them in the storeroom in a bag, but the weevil infestation is, you can see here, there is some variety or genotypes. Uh, we have been using this, and we saw that in some genotypes is uh, very severely affected by uh, weevil. And you can see after two weeks, after two weeks, the infection is uh, rapidly increasing. Two weeks is okay. Two weeks, they uh, remain fine, no problem. But after two weeks, this infestation is quite large and it is rap rapidly uh, 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 finishing the whole uh, tubers within a two or three weeks. And after 35 or 40 days, these uh, tubers are not suitable for consumption. It's totally uh, rubbish and we discard them from the store. Um, another this is, is uh, 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 bacterial uh, black rot uh, is in the stories. I mean, this is uh, causing in the stories basically. Uh, this is a fungal disease and that can be controlled uh, in the field curing. Uh, it's important because uh, during harvesting, if uh, some uh, splitting or some cracking or some bluish is here, then uh, this organism can enter into the tuber very easily. So, field curing or healing the injuries is important. So, field curing, we, we should follow the field curing. And then, sorting of healthy, and we will free uh, tuber for stories and store them in a cooler, little bit cooler uh, place that will help to uh, eliminate this black rot disease of sweet potato. And uh, Physiram rot is another disease uh, caused in store in post harvest. Uh, the fruits are, I mean, tubers are severely affected, and the tuber uh, will unfit for consumption and even uh, it's not possible to market it. So that should be controlled uh, after harvesting. So here is a good sanitation practice, is important. Uh, similarly, like black rot, uh, avoiding wound, wounding during harvesting. Actually, harvesting is critical for tuber root and tuber crops. Uh, some product fruit or tubers um, obviously is, is injured during harvesting, so this is uh, need to be sorted out and uh, discard them from the uh, good one. And good and all else need to be stored. And proper curing after harvesting is important for roots and tuber. I mean, potato and tuber, potato, sweet potato, both cases. In both cases, I mean, curing is important. If we can cure properly, then that will help to uh, eliminate or reduce the uh, disease infestation in the stories. So, now uh, this is the um, important disease for uh, sweet potato. And some more disease, say Rajupas rot, also causes severe losses in uh, stories of sweet potato. Similarly, bacterial soft rot, like this potato, bacterial soft rot also causes here is a severe damage. So, uh, soft rot can be controlled, avoiding wounding during harvesting, proper curing, uh, like as other, other diseases, and store sweet potato at low temperature and high humidity. I mean, that can help. Uh, save the tuber uh, in the stores and discard the infected roots. It is, it is common for almost all diseases control because if we can discard them, I mean, infected one, if we can select the good one, fresh, intact, uh, without injury, then that, that tuber, the true tuber, can stay a couple of weeks good in even ambient condition. Uh, if we can uh, keep them in a cooler place, that will stay a couple of months also. Then bacterial soft rot is another uh, uh, devastating in the stories I and mean, it causes huge losses in the tubers in the stories. So in uh, that case, storeroom need to be clean. I mean, uh, I said that listen powder can be used in the storeroom. The storeroom need to be clean and curing the after harvesting, sorting, grating, uh, these sort of things need to be clean and then uh, we can, if we can select the good one, that will stay uh, a couple of weeks for uh, uh, stories and that
that can consume and as well as they can marketing properly. So I think these are the uh, some important diseases of uh, tuberous roots and sweet potato. Uh, I think I'm about to finish. Uh, uh, this is some recommendation for, from my uh, lecture that uh, implementation of uh, GAP uh, with the practices is very, is very important uh, to, uh, to keep safe uh, crops from feed as well as in the store. Another point is uh, practice of cultural control, clean cultivation, sanitation, all sort of things is, is need to be applied uh, that will uh, help to uh, keep safe our producers and uh, use of eco-friendly food bagging, pheromone trap, bait trap, these sort of things also uh, is very useful and uh, useful and uh, that will save the fruits. Timely harvesting with no physical injuries. It is common for all producers, uh, especially uh, tuberous crops is important. Um, curing, uh, curing for healing the wounds uh, for, for tuber and root crops is important. Sorting, breeding, uh, this is important. Sorting can help with the uh, sort of the damaged produces, and if we can separate them from the good one, so that is uh, the good way to save the produces. And uh, some except root crops and tuber crops, other uh, fruits and vegetables can wash out. I mean, washing and cleaning can help to eliminate the organisms, insect pest infestation, uh, and then dry, then dry and keep in store that will help to keep them safe. And what are the dipping, what are the treatment is another way for food, food crops, uh, food crops that will help to eliminate the disease and insects and fruits and vegetables can stay a uh, long time in the storeroom. And sanitization of storeroom is important. If we, if we want to store the producers in this in the storeroom, uh, we have to sanitize the storeroom using uh, Policing powder or other chemicals. So, storeroom, if storeroom safe, then uh, the producers will save for long days. And finally, uh, if possible, uh, it is it is very critical. And all, in every way, it is tough to maintain the low temperature and cold cold storage. Uh, so, if possible, if you can use the cold storage system and even cool chain system from harvesting to uh, storeroom, that will help the producers. Uh, to keep safe from disease and infest insect infestation. Now, uh, that is, uh, I think that is all about my uh, my class, my 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 part uh, on the post harvest protection of uh, post protection management of fruits and vegetables, as well as some root crops and tuber crops. And thank you all.